JW.org Jehovah's Witnesses Why don't you accept blood transfusions? I printed this page off their official website because I wanted to share it on YouTube. Under their subheading Common Misconceptions they have listed a number of what they would consider to be myths surrounding their religion and what the true facts really are. You can look at these for yourself on JW.org. But as I go down this page, there's one that reads in such a way that I nearly fell off my chair. And it's this one. Myth. Many witnesses, including children, die each year as a result of refusing blood transfusions. Fact, the statement is totally unfounded. Let me read that again. Many witnesses, including children, die each year as a result of refusing blood transfusions. Fact, this statement is totally unfounded. Do you remember this magazine, The Awake of 1994, 20 years ago? The society, the same society, the same religion that is now showing that this statement is totally unfounded, that Jehovah's Witnesses, including children, die each year as a result of refusing blood transfusions 20 years ago, they proudly put on the front cover of one of their awakes youths who put God first. Who could forget this beautiful smiling sister, a young lady who is no longer with us and here she is, photographed, proudly presented on the Awake magazine. Youths who put God first. And it simply says, In former times thousands of youths died for putting God first. They are still doing it. Only today, the drama is played out in hospitals and courtrooms with blood transfusions. The issue. The drama is played out in hospitals and courtrooms with transfusions being the issue. They describe the death of this woman, this young lady, and those like her, these children here, as being in a drama. I find that very, very disturbing indeed. But what makes it worse is that that particular Awake magazine, things that they printed 20 years ago, is in complete contradiction to what they're saying now. This statement is totally unfounded, that children are dying as a result of refusing blood transfusions. I go back to this dear sister, I go back to thinking about her family, thinking about those relatives that would have mourned her passing because she refused a blood transfusion. I go back to these other families that they too would have mourned and missed their child terribly as a result of following through with refusing a blood transfusion and as the society calls it they were caught up in this drama of losing their lives a drama and yet they're now saying that it's totally unfounded how dare you how dare you disrespect the families the relatives 
of all of those thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people that have lost their lives through the years because of refusing a blood transfusion and now you're saying this is completely unfounded? How dare you, Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, treat your followers, those that have died in faith, in such a way. You have completely disregarded the amount of people that have died as a result of this blood dogma. How do you think they're going to feel when they read JW.org today and read that it's completely unfounded that youths were putting God first back then? How dare you? I'm not sure what else to say on this subject apart from the fact that there are many, many Jehovah's Witnesses dying every year as a result of refusing a blood transfusion even though they will not even be disfellowshipped anymore since the year 2000 something the elders fail to tell the publishers. How dare you even comprehend, even try to get through to people that this is unfounded. Even the most zealous Jehovah's Witness apologetic would have to agree with me that many witnesses have and are dying from a lack of blood transfusions to this day. I dare any Jehovah's Witness to tell me that they are not dying today. This is a totally disgraceful lie and one that should be shared on YouTube to your utter, utter shame.